in the hereafter. It's not like uh, I memorize Juzu Amma and I look at someone who barely can read al fatiha and say, Alhamdulillah, I'm in good shape, you know, I know Juzu Amma. And all. No, I would look at someone who knows Juzu Tabarak, uh, Amma Tabarak, and I look more and more until I compete with someone who knows the Quran and so forth. So this is deserving to have hasad, yani to wish to be like that person without that person losing anything. I want to be rich like that person because he is utilizing his money for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want to be rich like him so I can give like he does give. And subhanallah, with the intention, you get the rewards. And if you yani, work for it or do your best in getting that. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu an said, Man qara'a that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man qara'a harfan min kitab Allah falahu bihi hasana wal hasana bi ashri amthaliha Anytime you recite a letter from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you get hasana. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Man jaa'a bil hasana falahu ashru amthaliha And every hasana multiplies to ten minimum. Anytime you do good, if it's one hasana, it's really ten. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from his bounty, from his blessings, he gives you that and more. That's the minimum. So he said, you recite one harf, you get that. So some people may not really comprehend that because we have letters that some of the surahs start with it. Alif, la, mim, ha, mim, kaf, ha, ya, ayn, sa. Is this one letter? He said, no. Alif letter, lam letter, and mim letter. So when you say alif, lam, mim, that's 30 hasan. Imagine, salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, 30 hasan. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you the number of hasanat, it is to encourage you to do that act a lot. And it is because of the virtue of doing that act. Like when you say salamu alaykum, 10 hasanat, you can get 10, you can get 20, you can get 30. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not tell us much of the ibadat, how much we get for it. Yet he told us on that, because saying assalamu alaikum does miracles. If you want to have brotherhood, if you want to love one another, if you want to go to Jannah, he ended sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say assalamu alaikum. And can, you, can, can you imagine if you have a problem in a community and people are disunited saying assalamu alaikum everyone does it it will reform it will change but the question is do we believe in that if you come and you tell some secular person or some person who uh, just his mind is uh, far away from the revelation he would tell you yeah right what kind of a teaching is this? You need some actions, you need to get, you need, you need. Yeah, we need to do. There's, uh, there's definitely some work has to be done, but start with Assalamu Alaikum. This Assalamu Alaikum will facilitate and open the doors of other goodness, which means Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will give you tawfiq to open other channels that will make that unity amongst the people. Just like standing in the salah, come closer to one another. لا تدعوا فرجا للشيطان. Do not leave gaps for the 